Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of supplier statement reconciliations. BEST is the SAP add-on module that allows moving from a highly manual process outside of SAP to a fully automated reconciliation in SAP itself. This short video doesn't show an end-to-end -end scenario. It focuses purely on one way of loading statements into SAP, namely automatically from an electronic file sent by the supplier. In the specific case, SAP iDocs are used. There are many other ways to load statements into SAP, but automated loading via iDocs is the focus of this video. Let's have a look at the brief agenda of what we're going to demonstrate now. First, we'll consider the missing statements report to see that we're missing two statements. These are the ones, funnily enough, that we want to demonstrate how to load. We'll then load the two files sent from two different suppliers. We'll see iDocs have been created in SAP. One of the iDocs uh, will fail, and an email can be uh, sent as notification of this failed statement load, for example, to the responsible person in the accounts payable area. The reason for the statement failing to load will be that the previous month's reconciliation hadn't yet been fully approved. Not everyone will use the approval functionality, but for our scenario and our example here, we've used it. We'll quickly approve that reconciliation. Uh, we'll then go into the best statement cockpit, where we can see how all statements, whether successful or in error, can be tracked. For the statement loaded in error, the previous month has now been approved, and we'll then reprocess that, and the statement should load successfully. Um, and we'll finish off with a quick look at the reconciliation reports for those two statements. Um, they will have been produced automatically, and that will conclude our demonstration. Right, into the SAP demo. This report shows missing statements. I'm not going to explain the full report. Um, the point here just being to see that we have two statements that are missing. Test vendor A and test vendor B. Um, you can see that the top vendor B has uh, previously received a statement, and that's, that's the last date that we got a statement for that supplier. As an aside, while this report shows the missing statements, the system can automatically send reminder emails to the suppliers to send their statements through. We now need to process new statement files for both these suppliers. These are electronic files that the supplier will send via EDI. This process happens in the background without human or user involvement. However, for the purposes of this demo, I need to execute a program to now load those two statements. I execute, and those two statements are loaded. Let's go and have a look at the iDocs that have been created. Okay, I've got quite a few iDocs there. The last two are my statements that have been loaded now. This is the normal SAP iDoc monitor, okay? Um, if you're already using iDocs, um, you, you may be used to it. Um, each iDoc will have header and line item records. So, for example, that's the header record of this statement, showing the vendor, the statement date, currencies, etc. And then there'll be multiple line item records with the invoice numbers, the amounts, the invoice dates, other references, etc. Now, that has immediately processed into the best statement cockpit. And let's have a look at that. So this best statement cockpit allows management of all automatically loaded statements, whether from EDI via iDocs, as in our example, um, or via other channels such as the best supplier portal, a website, or the, or the best statement reader, which um, does OCR and paper or PDF files. However it comes, the status, whether successful or in error, can be monitored using this best statement reader. Um, erroneous files can be reprocessed if required. Um, we can see our two statements there. One has a green successful light and the other a red light. The error of the one on the red light, uh, with the red light, tells us that a statement could not be loaded as the previous month's statement has not yet been fully approved. It's merely an example of an error message. In BEST you can choose whether or not reconciliations must be approved and how many levels of approval are, are required. For our example, we're missing one level of approval. 
This best statement cockpit can also send emails to notify person, personnel of any statement load failures, for example, to the accounts payable team. Um, let me show you an example of an email. So that's an example of an email that could be sent. Um, you could obviously have your own text in there, etc., um, to remind you now to go and uh, resolve the error for the statement load. So let's now go and approve that statement that hasn't been approved. I won't go into detail on the approval process in this video. Suffice just to process the approval, the missing approval. There we go. My approval is done. I think this is a two-level approval required, so I'm just going to approve the second level as well. Okay, now we go back to our statement cockpit. Apologies, got lots of sessions here. Here we go, back to our statement cockpit. And directly from here, I'm going to reprocess. There are quite a few ways of reprocessing. Okay, I've just done that one quickly. And now we can see that both our two statements have green lights and they've been successfully processed. As a final step, let's go and view the reconciliation report for those two statements that were loaded. So this reconciliation report is automatically produced um, in SAP. I'm just going to show you a detailed, more detailed level so we can see all the line items. Um, that's just an example. This can be customized. Um, and again, not the point of this demonstration. So in summary, we, we had two statements missing. We loaded them via electronic IDOCs into SAP. We checked out the IDOCs. We checked out the best statement cockpit. We reprocessed one that was an error. And we've hit the end of our demonstration. Um, so thanks very much for taking the time to watch. Um, there's on that slide, that's our website. Uh, please do contact us with any questions that you may have um, or for further videos or, or detail on other topics. Um, so thank you and goodbye.